Occasionally, Etsy makes updates to their requirements and standards for shipping profiles. And for print-on-demand sellers, sometimes that can mean you will run into a situation where your listings have a red flag on them that says an update is required. So in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at the Etsy current standards in 2024 and talk about what might need to be updated in your shipping profiles if you run into that situation. All right, so this here is what we're talking about. When you go to your listings view on your seller dashboard on Etsy, you'll find that some or most or potentially all of your listings have this little red flag on there that says update required. If you hover your mouse over it, it will give you a little bit more information. So specifically, this time, what this is telling us is the shipping settings for this listing need an update to help show buyers more accurate estimated delivery dates. There's even a link here, which will take you to a page from the seller handbook that was posted March 29th of this year, 2024, with some helpful information about how estimated delivery dates are calculated. Now, the very last item here is kind of important. This is the point. This is something that has evolved over the last, I would say, year and a half or so, I think, on Etsy, maybe two years at this point. And the question question here in the article is, do I have to use the mail carriers and class options that Etsy provides? And the answer is yes, this is required for sellers in the US and the UK and strongly encouraged for sellers in other markets. So if you're in the US or the UK, you've likely seen this happen at least once over the last couple of years where they're telling you you need to put more information in your shipping profile. Now there's two different ways that you can edit this to get it up to sort of the standard that they want. You can go into the individual listings that have this and if you'll probably notice a pattern because all of the listings that share this shipping profile will have this flag on it. If you notice all of my t-shirts here have this flag on it, my other listings don't. So that means the other listings are okay with their shipping profile. It's just the ones that have the flag. So you can go directly into these listings and view the shipping profile, or you could go to your settings menu option on the left navigation, and then go to the shipping settings and edit your shipping profile from here. However, one thing that could be a little confusing is the, the shipping profile that requires the, uh, the update actually does not have a flag on it here on this view on your shipping settings page. I have never seen like that banner appear here or any type of flag here. So that could be a little bit confusing for you to find if you're not sure which one it is. So I personally think it's easier just to, to go right into one of the affected listings here. So let's just open this database t-shirt listing of mine. And if we scroll down to the shipping section or click on the shipping tab at the top, it will link us down to the shipping section. Here we see the shipping profile that's assigned to this listing. I can click on edit to open up that shipping profile. And here's where we will find the issue. Now, there's not actually like some big flag here telling us what's wrong. But if you scroll down to your shipping options, here is the issue. Etsy actually removed the option that I was previously using. I had previously used the option that was just called other and actually listings that I've created from Printify, that's how they came through when I created my original shipping profiles. Printify pushed them through as other, but Etsy no longer allows that. They want you to select one of these actual shipping methods that they list here. Other still shows at the bottom here, but this flag will sort of repeatedly come up for you is what I've found. If you use the other option and put your own shipping times in for the United States or the UK, I do have shipping profiles where I've selected other for some other countries and I have not gotten the flag on my listings. But whenever I have other on the United States or the UK, then this flag might go away right now if I update this profile, but then sometime down the road, the flag shows up again. So when you do get that flag, it's a good time to just go in and select one of the actual shipping carrier classes of shipping so that you know you won't get that flag in the future and have to deal with it again. But which one do we select? All you have to do is go to your orders, click on one of the orders for this type of product from the print provider that you normally use and look at the tracking information because it will tell you what type of shipping method they are using. So on your orders page on Printify, you can just go to any of your completed orders for that product that we're trying to update the shipping profile for and click on the link for the tracking number. Now, these are all pretty old because these are test orders that I have placed in my POD Insights account that I only use for this channel. But this tracking link here, this is one from an actual recent order from my print-on-demand Etsy shop. So if we look at this one, this is USPS. This is coming from Monster Digital in the United States. So if we click on the tracking number here, 
and we take a look at the product information is the link you want if it's USPS. And here is the shipping method, USPS ground advantage. And I am using the standard shipping option for Monster Digital. I'm not doing the express shipping and I'm not doing the economy shipping. My listings are set up with standard shipping from Monster Digital. So now I know I can update my shipping profile for my t-shirts to USPS ground advantage. So if we come back here under United States, I'm gonna scroll up until I find USPS Ground Advantage, select that one. Don't have to change any of these other countries. I can just scroll down, click save and apply. And I haven't actually edited this listing, so I can actually just back out of the listing here and go to back to listings. And now we'll see that that flag has gone away. Notice it also disappeared off of this other t-shirt listing down here in the right corner, my POD Insights t-shirt, because they had the same shipping profile. There are two other t-shirts here that are on a different shipping profile, and that's not because that makes sense. That actually doesn't make sense. In reality, all of the same type of product really should be sharing the same shipping profile to make it more efficient for me to make edits. But because this is my account that I use to create tutorials, I've got a bunch of different shipping profiles here just from all of the different videos I've made. But normally you would have that one shipping profile for all of your t-shirts and just making that one update would clear the flag for all of them. Now, if we pretend that I had to update the shipping profile for my mugs, we could do the same thing. We'd come into the listing, get down to the shipping section, we would click on edit, and we would find the shipping service for the United States. Now, here is one that I haven't gotten the flag in a while, and other is still the method. So if I wanted to switch this one from other, so that I won't get that flag again at some point in the future, what should I pick for my mugs? Well, it's the exact same process we just went through. Let's just check a real order for that though. All right, so this tracking is for one of my mugs and this is district photo in the United States. So this is a UPS tracking number, but it's also a USPS tracking number because this particular method is actually the equivalent of UPS shore post. They call it UPS mail innovations. It's basically a similar type service as UPS shore post which means it starts with UPS and then ultimately it's delivered by the postal service. So for my mug profile, I can come back here and I can find UPS and then I don't see UPS mail innovations. So I'm gonna select UPS shore post because that's a similar delivery time. It's a similar service and it's one of the slower options, two to six business days. So I, that is a safe choice there. So that's what I would select for district photo in the United States in 2024. That seems to be the best match for their service. So I would click on save at the bottom of this one. And now my mug shipping profile would be all set. So that's really it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick reminder on how to update shipping profiles in your Etsy account to get rid of these flags. So I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about this or if you have any other scenarios you've run into where you're getting these flags and it's not what I showed in this video as far as what was necessary to resolve it. Thanks everybody. See you next time.